It's a complicated systematic reaction that happens within your body when faced with an external risk. You don't actually have the conscious choice in the way your body reacts. This reaction is triggered by an environmental stress such as a danger or threat. Cells of the nervous and endocrine system work together to prepare the body for danger. These threats do not actually have to be real though. Someone catching you by surprise is an example of when the fight or flight response may kick in. The fight or flight reaction is an automatic response intended to allow us to react faster than our logical processes would usually allow us. That's right folks, our brain isn't as fast as we think it is. Faster heartbeat, perspiration, raised heads and acting jumpy are a few telltale signs of the fight or flight reaction. What really happens in your body to make this reaction possible? So it all starts in an amygdala. It is the first to recognize and initiate the reaction. Now stick with me here guys, this is going to get complicated. Sensory nerve cells pass the perception of a threat onto the hypothalamus in the brain, which transmits a signal to the pituitary gland. This signal makes cells release a chemical messenger into the bloodstream, as well as transmitting a signal down the spinal cord. Adrenocorticotropic hormone, also known as ACTH, for all of us who can't say that's too long word. Both ACTH and the nerve signal go to the adrenal gland. The adrenal gland activates the release of adrenaline into the bloodstream. This adrenaline binds to receptors on liver cells which produces glucose. In the lungs, adrenaline binds to the receptors of smooth muscle wrapped around bronchioles. This causes the muscle to relax, allowing more oxygen into the blood. Adrenaline goes to the heart, more specifically the sinoatrial node. This is the heart's natural pacemaker. Adrenaline stimulates pacemaker cells to beat faster. This increases the rate that other chemical signals such as glucose and oxygen are circulated to the cells. When ACTH reaches the adrenal gland via the bloodstream, they dock onto cell receptors, which reduces cortisol, which in turn sets fatty acids free to be transformed into energy. Cortisol released into the bloodstream results in increased blood pressure, increased blood sugar levels, and the suppression of the immune system. Your body needs to focus on transporting messages around the body and generating energy. Your immune system is not as important at the moment. The overall effect of this reaction is to increase circulation and energy to important systems needed, while switching others like the immune and digestive system to maintenance mode. This helps protect your body from danger. It can take 20 to 60 minutes for your body to return to its pre-arousal levels and state. This total reaction just takes a fraction of a second. The importance of understanding this topic is to assist with identifying treatments for various neurological or psychological ailments. Recent treatments called neurofeedback therapy combined with QEEG scanning is starting to make progress in this field and understanding the fight or flight response is a valuable tool to aid these developments. Class A team stuck in her